going on skid? We got us a loose tub spout here. When they pull the uh, diverter up, the whole thing shakes. I didn't know this bothered so many people, but apparently it does. This is real big and new construction, man. Uh, what you can do is you can go behind the wall, behind the shower here, cut it out, cut the sheetrock, and then tie a plumber strap to the pipe. Then you gotta, you know, patch the hole, sand, paint, all that jazz. Or you can just pull this off and do what I do. It works for me. Gonna pull the old tub spout off. This has an Allen wrench screw underneath it. If yours doesn't have an Allen wrench screw, it probably twists off. So you're gonna twist it off, lefty loosey. I'm finally able to film something, man. Everybody's home due to the beer virus still, so it's just been a tough one to film. Let's see if we can get it. Once you get it loose, you can turn it. And there's the problem. It's just too much gap. Big, big issue on new construction, man. I used to work at a place built in 1970. It had a lot of issues, but it was never none of this kind of crap. So again, you can go on the other side, cut the sheetrock out, and tie it down with a plumber strap. Or you can do it this way, man. I get some, some Loctite power grab. And then I just fill the hole up, fill the gap up, let it dry. It gets real hard and then stops the pipe from moving. So it works for me. I've done a lot of them this way and never had any issues. So yeah, just fill that baby up. Some people have used spray foam. I'm sure you can use caulking too, but I just like to use something that hardens, gets real hard. Maybe some putty. So I'm going to fill this gap and I'll be back. Oh, the old gap is filled. I'm gonna go to lunch, eat my butt hair sandwich, and let it dry. I got a little fan on it too. A little fan blowing on it. it Helps speed up the dry time. And uh, also when I put the when I put the spout back on, I'm gonna drop a old bead of caulk around the base and that'll hold it as well. Give it a little more a little more hold. But uh, I'm gonna go knock out my butt hair sandwich and I will be back. Hopefully it'll be dried enough where I can put the spout on. Put a little oil around it so the spout slides on nice and easy. But it is dry. I mean, I'm not gonna rock it back and forth. But yeah, that'll work. Tight as a gnat's booty. All right, I'm gonna slide the, the spout back on. Give it a little twist around. I'm also gonna bust a bead of caulk on the base back here. That'll give it a little more, a little more hold. All right, Brosif, all done. Got a bead of caulk around it. I'm on the third floor, so definitely like to put a bead of caulk around any spouts and stuff when I'm on the third floor it keeps shower shower water from running down behind it and then going behind the wall and dripping downstairs so definitely like to bust beads around the scutcheons and, and and spouts you can see it's not moving no cutting drywall sanding painting none of that you can if you want to hey if you're a drywall guy and you like doing that stuff go ahead but this is how I do it works for me never had any issues I mean, that sucker was jumping off the wall when I got here. Not anymore, so they'll be good to go. All right, guys, hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Thank you.